Hey everyone, this is Dean with DCA Crypto. I have your weekly YouTube or crypto update for you guys. I want to play some videos, uh, clips for you guys on some of the best videos I think were for this week from different YouTubers. So I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, and let's jump into it. All right, so I got the weekly crypto YouTuber updates this week. I'm going to play some clips from these videos and let you know what I think about them. I think these are videos that you might want to take a look at because there's some good information in a lot of these. So let's jump into it here. The first one here is from Peter from House of Crypto. He talks about warning signs with ICP. And I've kind of talked on this about a different projects in general, not so much about ICP a little bit, uh, but just kind of warning people play a little bit of this clip here. There's something really dangerous going on in ICP right now. And it's happening within the ICP community. Something I've been reading about on YouTube, I've seen in videos and comments, and so many other places. This particular problem is something that cost me thousands of dollars back in the last bull market. And in this video, I'm gonna explain exactly what I'm talking about, along with some stats, some figures, and some key information that we need to have as ICP holders to make sure that we're not overexposed. Do me a favor, hit that like button, and let's find out what I'm talking about. Now guys, if you're subscribed to the channel, which hopefully you are by now, then you'll know that I've been posting ICP videos throughout last year, buying into ICP around $2, $3, and absolutely making a killing. As we see the ICP price currently sat around $12.50. So what is it? What's my problem? Why am I so upset about things I'm seeing in crypto right now? Well, guys, you're probably aware. It's this. It's confirmation bias. And I've told you so many times about it, but no one seems to be getting it. Confirmation bias is what we all have. Our brains try and shortcut things to make our decisions seem like more reasonable choices. So what Peter's getting at here, and I've talked about this a lot of times before. So basically, you know, you watch this whole video with ICP for Peter. It's great information. It kind of goes through what's going on with ICP, what's going on with people's mindset about their expectations for ICP in this bull run. And it isn't just ICP. It's a lot of coins out there. People have expectations that may not be realistic for price targets for them. So what Peter's getting at here is... You don't want to wait for these crazy prices. Like I've said, you don't want to wait for these prices to hit Mars and we only make it to the moon and you didn't take your profits out when that happens and then you're stuck holding the bag until the next bear cycle. You don't want to be victim of that. And that's why I stress all the time that you guys should be taking out profits on the way up in different increments. Don't wait for the price target that you think it's going to hit because it may not hit that price target and it's likely not going to hit those price targets. You wanna take it out earlier than what you think it's gonna to get to just in case it doesn't get there. And, it, you know, and, and people have always, if, if people could always time the top of the price of these coins, do you really think that 90% of people or more would lose money in crypto? No, that would not be the case. So your head is telling you this coin can get to this price point and they're gonna dump it before it gets there because they know what people are expecting these whales. They know what prices people think these coins are gonna to get to and they're gonna catch you off guard and dump the price on it before that happens. So you wanna be ahead of the curve and take your profits out on the way up. You know, you could sell 10% here, 20% there, 20% here, 10% on the way up. Just take it out in increments. And then when we get the dump, you've already taken out a bunch of profit. It doesn't matter if you hit that top dollar amount you know you don't have to wait for a hundred dollar icp to take your profits out you want to take it out well before then i'm going to start taking out my profits on it probably in the 40 to 45 dollar range when i get a 10x on it i think those are very doable targets for icp sure i think it could hit a hundred dollars but i'm not waiting for a hundred dollars to take out profits on it peter's actually start starting to probably take out his profits around the $20 or so mark when he gets a 5X or so on it. I'm not gonna be that conservative. I'm gonna wait you know, more than that, depending on how we're doing in the cycle and you know, where Bitcoin's at and all that, but I'm definitely not waiting for $100. Some people think ICP is gonna to get to two, three, four, seven hundred dollars $700 in this bull run, and you know, it's likely not going to get there. So watch Peter's video. He makes a very good point about there. You gotta step back and take the emotions out of it and be smart about your profit taking strategies guys the next video on here is a uh, paul baron network this video talks about 
PAL world and the success of this game. It's launched and it's got millions of users right away with it and it's doing fantastic. And they also cover in this video about Alluvium trying to change their strategy to copy PAL world in some sense to make the game more, uh, I guess, desired by the players because they've been getting a lot of feedback about it. And they're trying to take some strategy steps to make that happen so the game's more fun for the players, which is a good thing. So watch a little bit of this clip. Of course, this post coming in from PAL World, a total number of players exceed 19 million. That's right. That wasn't a misprint. 19 million. It's been less than two weeks since it was released. Thank you, Steam. 12 million, Xbox, 7 million players. And if you think about any games out there, to have these kinds of numbers, even at 10% of this, would be an overwhelming success. So for us to see this, it showed you, and I think it showed everybody in gaming, what uh, kind of appetite uh, was out there for, for this right here. And of course, right here, Power Success, Crypto Entrepreneur's Indie Game achieves 100 million revenue within days. And this is the thing I think that people have to really kind of pay attention to right here. I want to kind of highlight this. This is the founder, Takuro Mizobi, a former employee of JP Morgan Securities, also later ventured into the crypto world and utilized this crypto fortune to essentially st establish the studio, which is Pocket Pair, uh, the indie game developer in 2015. So he's not, it's not that he's new in this sector, but it shows that this uh, gentleman has a lot of conviction for what's going to be happening around Web3, I think, around Web3 gaming. Nintendo, he's with uh, Nintendo as a game developer, uh, went in and started working in uh, securities with JP Morgan. So jump into this part of the video here uh, where they talk about the uh, Illuvium copying PAL world strategy. Break it going forward. I want to go to another clip because this is talking about overworld changing to PAL world. Listen in. Obviously, people have been talking about the overworld feels empty. How do we solve that? Yeah, so it, look, it's it's absolutely no secret that we've had uh, a, a lot of feedback saying that the overworld is empty. Uh, it's just not the same when you're not seeing the alluvials. And when I saw that, it just came, I, obviously I wasn't playing it myself but it completely changed my entire perception of the overworld. It gave me a different... So you guys can watch this video. It talks about how Luvium is changing their strategy and changing the overworld in the game to make it so these alluvials or whatever they're called are actually visible. Because I haven't played the game personally, so I don't know, but it sounds like they were not. you were not able to actually see them in the game, which to me makes absolutely no sense at all. So it's kind of common sense that they made this change. But... Uh, you can watch this video. It's very interesting and find out about what's going to happen with gaming in this upcoming bull run and how it's going to explode. They cover a lot of this, uh, a lot of that in this video. And he's got a lot of other great information in there as well. So check that out. That's Paul Barron Network. And the links for these videos will be in the description. So you guys can click on the description of the video to get the links. You just scroll down and at the uh, down lower in my uh, description, you'll see the links to all the, the videos. So you can check those out. So we'll jump into this video here with no BS crypto. This is a very interesting video and I think it's important to get both sides of the spectrum. And, and my mind is, you know, I, I kind of, I really agree with him on this or in some way or another, because he could be, he could be very right. And if that, if he is right, then we've had a little bit of a different mindset about some of these coins for this bull run and, and maybe need to change our strategy a little bit. That's up to you and your portfolio. And, you know, this isn't what people want to hear, but I think this is what people need to hear just to get another aspect of it to think about it. Because, you know, these coins, uh, he's talking about these altcoins that may not do well in this bull run that everybody's been hyped about, including myself, and may want to take another look at it and see if these are the ones that you want to have as your main plays in this bull run or not, or if there are better plays to have in your portfolio. So I'll play a little clip of this. Uh, for you guys here, but definitely want to watch this video and something to really think about. But this video is different because I'm talking about altcoins that are STR. These are high quality 10 out of 10 altcoins that I know you probably hold. I still hold. We're looking to change that as we'll see in a minute here. And I'm going to tell you the reasons why I don't think they're going to be good for this bull run. Now, I'm expecting 
honestly a fair bit of hate on this video and it was one of the reasons why I was thinking about not even telling you about it and just only telling the private community but I thought this information is of course in line with the channel name down below no BS crypto and ultimately at the end of the day my feelings and my uh, my fear of having backlash is honestly worth letting the one in every thousand person actually make a critical decision and before we get into the video I want to say as well please just remember that this isn't me shitting on these altcoins. I think all of these, as I said, are S tier projects. They're fantastic. It's just we have to pivot what we see as a quality project for 2025, this bull run, and not what will be quality projects for the next bull run or the next seven years. With that said, pay close attention, open your mind to the possibilities of what I'm sort of saying here, and don't just rush to the comment section like every TikTok brain person and just scream. So I'm gonna back him up on here. You know, he's got a really good point. If you watch this video, which I think all of you should watch this video, you know, there are coins out there and Quant is one of them that may or may not be the narrative for this bull run. They may be the narrative for the 2030 bull run because that's when the mass adoption for the ISO 222 is expected. It may not come around this bull run and they may not run as hard. Now, a lot of people are going to say, well, Dean, you've been pushing Quant hard on your channel for months now. I have because it's a great project. It's a fantastic project and I believe in it. But the other realistic side of me says if they don't, if ISO 222 coins are not a big narrative in this bull run, these coins are not going to run that hard. So you have to keep that into consideration. Uh, that does that mean i'm selling my quant no i'm still going to hold my quant and see how it does this bull run i just may adapt my profit taking strategy accordingly if if they don't take off like we're expecting them to uh this run and maybe their big play is the 2030 bull run same with xrp xlm uh, hbar a bunch of those they may be the big runners in the 2030 bull run and not this bull run we don't know uh but but he's got a good point here that that narrative is more of a 2030 play than possibly the 2025 play. D pins and a bunch of other projects, may I, AI gaming may be the big ones for this bull run. So you have to think about that and take it into consideration. Look at his, watch his video and just get get the feedback and think about it. That's all I'm saying to do. You know, don't give him hate or push back on it. Don't give me hate or push back on it. I love uh, Quant and these ISO 222 tokens. I think they're fantastic and I think they're going to be big runners in the future, but will they be big runners in 2025? Maybe, maybe not. So just kind of keep that in mind. Don't go all in on these coins. That's why you have a spread portfolio. That's why I have other projects in my portfolio. I had Solana in my portfolio because I knew that was going to be a big runner. I've got a lot of gaming projects. I've got some AI plays and a bunch of others that I can't talk about that haven't launched yet. but. There is different plays out there and you want to have your portfolio well-rounded in case one of these plays doesn't do well. Now in the last video I'm going to jump into here with Kyle Chassis. Uh, he covers what he thinks is coming up in the next uh, few weeks here is altcoin season and he explains in this video why. So let's jump into this video. Guys, we are within weeks of alt season coming. I'm talking about maybe 15 days before your head starts spinning on today's show, we're going to talk about which narratives we're looking at to maximize your gains in this upcoming 2024 super cycle. And guys, this is going to be jam packed with information here. You're going to want to watch this because it's extremely important. If you, if you don't pay attention to what we're about to talk about, what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up in about eight months from now with a hundred different tokens in your wallet and you're going to forget to sell them. You're going to forget about, you're going to forget about them. And then all of a sudden in 18 months, the market's going to crash and you're going to be left holding your bags of everything. And so today we're going to talk about how the narrative evolves and exactly how to navigate through this. It's a very, very, very important video because if you think things are crazy now, just wait for 30 days from now. <laughs> So he's thinking we're going to get this big altcoin market in the next uh, 15 days to 30 days. So we'll see if that happens or not. That's a possibility. We could see a you know a, a pump here before the halving, but I think at some point, either before the halving or shortly after the halving, we'll get a correction before we take off into the main bull run. So 
he's thinking we get a big alt season here and he, he goes into explanation as to why and shows how the ethereum uh, spot etf could come into play for this because they're trying to push that through now so we'll just have to see we're trying to starting to see some green candles on the uh, ethereum to the bitcoin pair where ethereum's starting to gain some momentum against bitcoin so will alt season start at that point is i guess what we're going to find out here in the next few weeks but go ahead and watch this video it's good to get different uh, opinions on different things in the market because a lot of people look at it from different angles and it's good to get your uh, it's good to get your viewpoint from many different youtubers out there not just me none of us are experts but we like to get you uh, what we think is what's going on in the market and everybody has a little bit of a different opinion on there so it's good to get well-rounded information for you to help you make your decision better because maybe it's somewhere in between so just keep, kind of keep that in mind but that's pretty much what i got for this video guys i really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and smash that like button it really helps with the youtube algorithm that's what i got for this video we'll see you on the next one Don't you